Hey everybody and welcome back to the Daily Nerdy News. Your news daily for nerds. How's it going guys? This is our second episode. Once again, let me know how you think it's going. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Also make sure to check out, we got Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays where we stream live 10.30 to 1 a.m. Mountain Time. So that's 11 a.m. Central Time. Come check us out. I'm a little sweaty. I'm a little sweaty. Just like our streams. Anyways, also make sure Sundays Nerd Radio, your national nerd net radio direct, where we have morning grind and more chill, just like, hey, two guys chilling in a hot tub, five feet apart because it's a pandemic. And then the weekly nerdy news with Kevin, where he goes more in depth with news of the week, a little bit more opinionated. So check out Nerd Radio on Sundays and just see us playing video games Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Let's get in to the news. Whoops. <laughs> one already came up. Spoiler alert. So our first one of the day is Fall Guys adds in some new variety to the maps that we've already seen. So like a couple of the ones that I've noticed is that there's a couple of them where instead of the little platform going back and forth, they switched it to the hammers. So there's a little bit different of a dynamic. If you hit the platform thing, he's going back and forth. That was one thing. It You could figure out a way around it and it really wasn't that big of a deal, but the hammers have momentum to them. So you could end up launching yourself. Ugh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. So, so yeah, um, but it looks super fun. It looks like just a dope ass time. So why the heck not? Why don't you check that out? And yeah, so that's number one. Number two, Rocket League cross Fortnite. Um, I thought this was interesting. So Rocket League is going to be going um, free to play um, on the 23rd, I believe. Uh, I probably have it wrong. Sorry. I, I'm more focusing on the fact that Rocket League and Fortnite are going to be doing a cross promotion, basically. Um, Fortnite did just add in, like, a mode where there's, like, vehicles and stuff. So it'd be kind of cool to see some Rocket League cars in Fortnite and then some Fortnite stuff in Rocket League. But they're basically doing cross promotion where if you're playing Fortnite or you're playing Rocket League, you're gonna be unlocking stuff. Other than that, not a lot of information, so keep your eyes out for that. I think it's I think it's cool. I mean Rocket League going free to play in general is really cool. Cause if you didn't pick it up for like PlayStation Plus when it first or right around when it first came out, then this is just a great chance to play a really good game. So um, Twitch is in some hot water for more reasons than one. So first off, they added this thing where um, you could get a mid-roll ad right in the middle of a stream. And a lot of creators are just not okay with this. And I think one of the main reasons is because it's out of their control. So it's not like, oh, I got to go take a pee. Let me put on a trailer while my people are waiting for me. No, it's just, it comes on whenever it deems necessary. And it's like, ooh, yeah, I'm I'm not too sure about this. I hope they change it very soon. But then that's not the only thing. It also put out emojis that were very festive in the Latina X variety. But at the same time, a lot of people took it as, okay, this is just kind of tone deaf and it's a little racist so they had to take it back down so they put it up just to take it right back down it was kind of embarrassing if you ask me because it's just like why why just why just why you know so um all right last one of the day i think this is actually kind of cool uh i'm not super big apple person but at the same time um apple had a thing today and basically instead of having like all these different apple um subscriptions they're putting it all into one it's going to be called apple one and so you'll get apple music apple tv plus and apple the games one shit i don't know what that's called but you'll get all of that for one price um considering like there's actually some really high profile um 
like shows on Apple Plus, this could actually be really good for them. Here, I'm going to move that a little more. There we go. Um, this could be really good for them because there's that, but then there's plenty of games. Hold on, I have a little, I have a little like Superman curl going on. <laughs> Here we go. Um, on top of that, you know, their game selection is really big. And sure, some of them are just basically cell phone games, but there are plenty of them that are actually like full-fledged games. And so you get that, which is almost like a games pass, but then you also get something that's kind of like Netflix. So I think this is a really good move for them, and it could end up doing them really good. So, yeah, good for them. Um, then two really big trailers came out that I wanted to talk about. Uh, first one here is, why is it so far into the Mandalorian Season 2? So let's take a quick peek at it. Let's make sure. Is it? I want it 1080, okay? I want to feel space. The final frontier. No, no, wrong franchise. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I like here we're opening up. Okay, something's wrong with the ship. You know, why is it open? Little sparks and stuff. Things are not going good for the Mando. That reminds me of God of War. Oh, it's never a bad thing to remind me of God of War. I like that because that's suggesting that there's more of them. And so far, we've only seen Yoda and then one from episode one that had long hair. So, I like that. <laughs> Disappeared. Streaming this October, so it's coming quick. X-Wings, X-Wings, X-Wings! <laughs> pew, 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 pew. We got our girl back. Oh my... God! Pew, pew! I love this part. He's like, oh crap, I'm... <laughs> It's kind of like that Darth Maul race with the horns. This is the way. This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. So finally, Disney Plus has another reason to exist other than Hamilton. <laughs> so nothing wrong with that. Um, that looks really cool. This one really surprised me because I didn't really know that much about it. Apparently it is a book. Um, and I'll tell you also why this is like really interesting where's where's my hand there's my hand interesting but i'll tell you afterwards Why did he have a chandelier? Only a small fraction of humanity survived to move underground. I've been scanning for Amy the entire time. And now I finally found her. No! Hey! No! Amy, is that you? Oh my god! Hey! Dun -dun. Weird song choice, but I'll go with it. It's an impossible journey. Every blue tried to kill you. Don't fight, just run and hide. Come with me. Ooh, dang. Is that a samurai sword? Yeah, it is. Listen to your instincts out here, man. It's a Merle. You have terrible instincts. You'll die. 
super encouraging speech. <laughs> you made it all this way for a girl, huh? You ever hear the term fools, Aaron? No! Amy, I miss you so much. We have lost this war. We could still take our world back. You're more of a survivor than I thought. This part's so cool, it's like... I mean, the visual effects are just top notch. There's some shots that aren't so much, but like that one in particular where the monster premiering at home October 16th. So this one I actually might, I mean, depending on how much it costs or whatever, but this one I might actually want to watch. It looks really interesting. Uh, the special effects are really cool. It's got freaking Burl, <laughs> Merle Dixon. Um, so, yeah, and it, I think it's funny that Merle has a samurai sword and, you know, Michonne is the one from the show. So that's, that, that's kind of cool. Now, the thing that I find interesting is that there are two shows on Netflix that have a very similar premise. Um, there is The Last Kids on Earth, which has to deal with um, zombies, but also um, monsters. And it's kind of the same thing where he loses the girl he likes and so he goes out to find her. This one, they're at least in a relationship, but still. And then the other one is... Oh, good. Good God. Daybreak. Yeah, Daybreak, which is also about zombies. And it's also about a guy who had a girlfriend and he got separated from her for months and has been searching for her the whole time. So it's like... Then you have this one, and it's the exact same thing, and it's just like, it, it's so confusing. Like, I know there's um, such thing as, like, clone movies, but now it's like we have two series in a movie, and it's like... Now, the only thing that really sticks out to me is the song choice. I get that they're going for, like, a light and fluffy whatever, but most of the scenery of what's happening on the screen does not match the the song because it's like hey you really got me going and there's this one part where he's like holding the crossbow and he's like you know he's like really scared there's all these parts right here like this one and it's like it, the music is just meshing with with the uh see like here let's watch this part because this is pretty like See, actually, this music makes sense. Dun, 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 See, the way that thing, like, blows up almost looks like they did it practically. So, yeah, they're going for something funny, especially, oh, I feel like Tom Cruise or whatever. But it's just, like, there's some serious moments in here where it's just like, oh, my God, it's super serious. And yet the music is not portraying that. I feel like this is going to be a for the most part there's going to be moments of levity obviously but they're making it seem like this is some kind of slapstick comedy especially when there's one part you really got me and he's getting hit by like a tongue or something and then he gets knocked on the ground he's not laughing he's scared shitless so it's just a really weird um juxtaposition as to what's actually going on in screen i really don't know why they decided to go that route but i mean who am i um Depending on the um, price, I might watch this. It looks really good, in my opinion. Um, I like the actor, especially what happened to him after Death Race and everything. Like, I, I want to say, like, he broke his spine or something because he was doing a lot of his own stunts. So what he, they had to stop the filming of Death Maze or Death Race or something that he was in. And they had to stop it for a good, like six months for him just to recover so after what happened to him is like you know that he's in in it to win it and he takes his job really seriously and so for me like you know that makes me want to support an actor like that so really excited about that other than that i want to hear from you guys how excited are you for the mandalorian love and monsters um are you do you know twitch streamers have you caught yourself at a mid-roll stream ad how annoying is it i really hope they change this soon at least to the point where 
you can control them. If you can control them, I feel like then it's okay. But if it just happens, especially if it's like right in the middle of a tense moment, it just seems stupid. So let me know all you guys are thinking down in the comments down below. Um, once again, Nerd Radio, your national Nerdnet Radio Direct on Sundays with Morning Grind in the morning and Weekly Nerdy News at night with Kevin. Um, plus Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Usually it's me and Kevin, but sometimes Nate joins us as well. So look out for that. All right, from all of us here at Threat X Reproductions, you guys have a great day.